tired of spending a lot of damn money and getting absolutely nothing you was hoping to get, head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins in the community. Use code GS for 20% off your purchase. Don't forget you can also purchase training there as well. Link is available in the description. What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, just welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic, man. We are about to go ahead and showcase the presents that were released today. Let's see if they have anything in the store for today. So, we have a gridiron pack, which gives you um, a guaranteed 87 over or higher player. So, now is the time to try. And uh, see if you got an 87 overall or higher player because, uh, well, if you need one for training and stuff like that. Because I'm sure a lot of people are pulling 87, 88s out of these bundles since you're guaranteed them. On top of maybe pulling some from the bundles themselves and, you know, they're fluctuating the market. So now's the time to take advantage of that. But uh, let's open this up right here. Let's open up 500 points. And uh, if somebody wants to send me 57 cents, feel free to. MrGoldenSports at gmail.com. Just hit up my, my PayPal and hit 57 cents. I would greatly appreciate it. That means this is our pack together. Like, this is our pack. Like, this pack belongs to you and me. That means you own a part of this pack. <laughs> so we're at 5,500 snow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the snow over the training. Uh, but at least it's 82 overall or better player. I believe it was 81 overall or better player previously. So uh, let's see what it is we get. Uh, let's open up the snow first. Not really in need of training. We got 23 Thou Wow training on top of us having a, a binder full of stuff on both accounts. So we're good with that. Let's go ahead and quick sell this 450 snow. We'll take that because we know Ghost of Madden Pass is coming out at some point, and uh, we want to be ready for that. But um, I believe that was the only bundle to come out, the gridiron one. Um, yeah, which guarantees a uh, elite player 87 overall or better. Okay, so we're not opening it. This actually ends tomorrow. For Friday, so they got something special dropping tomorrow, probably. So uh, we have the presents open up. We have a wheel of Quicksil pack, eight of these, and we also have Oop Ironman Mike Evans. We got five of them, <laughs> five strong saves. So let's open up our 82 overall. Uh, Sebastian Janikowski, whoever it is, we're gonna pull. Okay, we got a, a, a legend piece. We got an 87 Jason Taylor. I'm curious to see what that goes for. If that goes for less than 40, we're just gonna take the. Um, we're going to take the training on it because that's 775 training and, you know, we're not really in need of like, you know, 20K, 30K. Yeah, so, you know, 20K, 30K, you know, we're not in need of it right now. So we'll just go ahead and we'll take our training. Um, we'll quick sell this too because we'll take our, our eight snow. Like, that was wild, right? At the fact that they went ahead and gave us eight. Like, they gave... <laughs> you spent 170 on presents and they gave, <laughs> and they gave you eight back. Like, that's wild. But um, we got, again, five Michael Evans that we're going to go on ahead and take a look at. Out of position, elite player. Um, I don't see me. I think they go for like 35K a piece. So that right there is not bad. If I sold all of them, that's 120K. Or that can be 1,500 snow. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the snow, though. Because, once again, we got Ghost of Madden Pass that has yet to drop. And uh, we kind of want to be prepared for that, right? We don't want to go on ahead and not have the necessary snow for it when it comes out. Because I'm hearing through the grapevine. I don't know if this is true or not. But I'm hearing Moss, Vic. I'm hearing some goons. But let's go ahead and let's take a comparison from Mike Evans, who would definitely be an absolute monster due to his height. Has strong safety. We have a six foot three Steve Atwater. The only thing is that Mike Evans lacks speed at 85. Um, his zone coverage is 88. That's possible to get over 91 with lockdown, which will add plus three. But um, in my opinion, you know, I just need catching and jumping. Uh, his jumping is 92. His catching is already pretty high at 85. Um, he's not someone that would, you know, run my strong safety stock like I use uh, Calvin Johnson, but if I did not, I definitely see myself uh, being able to keep 
I mean, he's not going to stay over ET3 because ET3 is a goon and so is Ronnie Lott. But, like, if you just had Calvin as your, your stock free safety, as we get a call right there, we're going to ignore that. I can understand why. He's got great speed. He's got good zone coverage. Mike Evans is just too slow. You know, to me, he'll just be a, a situational player. You see him stack that strong safety. We got Amos. We got Reed. Atwater's not even in the lineup right now. Um, and right now, we're just, you know, holding out for, uh, for I guess, someone better. But... You know, uh, this Mike Evans will not see uh, my lineup, but he's a very, very, very uh, cheap, good user. You know, I'm not sure how much Calvin is going for, but if you want to sacrifice speed, you can go on ahead and get the strong safety Mike Evans. You could, you know, put him in in certain packages at linebacker to be able to use her. That's the only spot I can really see him again. I would not leave him alone, you know, try to protect your over the top secondary because, you know, you're going to run into people with Ty Hills and, and, uh, you know, Tyreek, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, Hill, Hilton, I got so many names I want to throw out there that I can't even name them. You know, there's so many fast receivers, you know, Chad Johnson, there's so many people that has the possibility of getting like 95, 96 speed. So we're going to go on and probably quick sell all those for snow. Now we get eight of these, and I've seen people get really, really, really good luck, and I've also seen people get really, really, really bad luck. And of course, as you can uh, assume, which side I want to be on. I want to be under really, really, really good luck. So uh, we pretty much knew that this right here was going to be a quick sell uh, pack. The red one, I didn't think anyone seen uh, an oop Mike Evans coming. But that kind of makes me feel like the presence of, that was like the elite pack, right? And those weren't easy to get. Like, you can open a ton of those and not get many of them. And then you get one, and it's an Andy Dalton. It's, it's a... It's a uh, Mike Evans, and you're like, sheesh, what are the large ones then? If, like, I don't know. I don't know. But nonetheless, let's open these bad boys up, see if we can get lucky. 2K. Okay, that is that is not lucky. And I'm not, and I'm, I'm not talking about the basketball game. 20. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. 20K added to the Mup Bank. 1. 1K GS makes his return. That's, that's fascinating, right? 1K GS. He's, he's back. Better than ever. Five? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm cooking a little bit of grease. Not the end of the world there. Five? Okay. He's habitual with, with the fives. Twenty? Okay. Now we cook with a little bit of grease. We got last two. I've seen people put like 150. Let me get a 75. Let me, let me wet my lips with a 75. Okay. 5K. And this right here is the very last present that we have to open can we end it with a bang of course not 1k gs coming oh we got 10 there's a one in there but we also got 10 you know not bad not bad you know you you wasted snow to get coins but you had to waste coins to get snow or it's it's a wild i don't know it's weird but we'll go to newest here and we will just quick sell all these coins here let's see how much we have we have a total of 68 thou wow coins we'll take that and again these mike evans go for 35k a piece let's say i sell them at let's say 34 let's say 30k after taxes right 3 6 9 12 that's 150k or 1500 snow so it's like what am i better off with am i better off with 150 snow 1500 snow or 150k see i don't know that right there makes me think like i should take the coins because 1500 snow isn't getting me a, a a pack or anything when when ghost of christmas pass comes out it'll get me like half of a pack <laughs> but you know for now since again we're not in need of any coins and i still got a binder full of stuff we'll, we'll take the snow put us a little over seven thousand, and i still have this too i think i don't even know who it is i'm gonna use it on if you guys have any suggestions i'm thinking maybe amos it's like the most expensive 92 player overall player that I think I got. Um, I'm not sure how much 92 Amos goes for. And I'm also going to make a purchase that I was looking at on the way home today. Uh, when uh, me and Tiffany were out. And um, I took a look and there was a card that looked really, really good. That caught my you know attention. Okay, let's go 92. How much is he going for? 400K. I think he's he's the safe bet right there. That's what I think we're going to do. We're going to lose training on it, but I think we're going to go on ahead and depower Amos up. And I can sell his his piece. And then I can use the pass to just, you know, repower him up. 
So we're going to upgrade him. We're going to remove the last item here. Seven seven thousand coins. Seven thousand coins. The hell? Seven thousand. All right, but we'll use this bad boy up right here, and then I have to put the the physical on him again. Right? It's gonna cost me some train. Oh no, I don't. It's already okay. Okay, bet. So that right there costs us seven thousand coins, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, we're able to go on ahead and now sell this Amos. For 400, I'm gonna put it for 450 because I feel like I don't want to undercut this guy for 430. When that one sells, ours will be the next cheapest up, so we'll put 450. So that power up pass came through for almost half a million coins, so we'll take that. And if there was another player that you know I should have used it on, then you know, my bad, but. Someone else suggested Amos the other day, and I was like, you know, let me take a look, and he's going for 400K, so we'll take that. Um, yeah, I think that Aaron Donald, for anybody who offense is similar to mine's and you run a ton like me, um, I think he is he's a must, you know, because I I, I took a look at his uh, his stuff, and he looks he looks phenomenal as a lead puller. I mean, he's not going to start at left guard for me, but. You know, uh, we'll put them in situationally whenever we want to run tosses, end around, strong powers, anything that revolves a pull. You know, he can go on ahead and, um, you know, get out there fast enough with speed. Previously, I had uh, Armstead, the Blitz Armstead. I had this guy right here who I would, you know, again, situationally, you know, put in um, in certain situations. Because of his uh, his speed, but his uh, let's take a look at my man Armstead. This is what we had before, and uh, he has 80 speed. See, Aaron Donald has 79 speed, and I believe we can go on ahead and he'll have the same speed. But I think he just has more strength. Uh, what was he? A left guard? I don't need yeah 17 out of 50 Niners. So me losing a Niner doesn't doesn't do anything for me. Doesn't hurt me, I should say. So we're going to go on ahead. We're going to put Aaron Donald there. And I believe we can put Sprinter on him. And if we can put Sprinter on him, then he's really going to, you know, help us with some speed. Okay, you can't put physical on him. Okay, but jump the snap on, on the left guard? What? Okay, we're going to go zone run for my man right here. And that right there is going to... Uh, you know, just help me with speed. He's got more strength. He's got more. Uh, I feel like he's just going to be better than Armstead at pulling. In my opinion. I think you needed to be like 90 overall or higher to put something like that over. But uh, he's got 91 run block. You know, compared to Armstead. Who, Armstead run block just, it's, it's not the best. And I looked, he had 80. What do you have, like 86 run block or something like that? Or 87, like his run block was like, or 88 run block or something like that. I looked and I'm like, sheesh, like that's, that's really freaking good. Well, we got Armstead, who run block is 85. So his run block is higher. Um, speed will actually be the same. But you take a look. He just got more strength. Uh, his run block is more. And I feel like this guy right here is just going to be an absolute monster when it comes to pulling. And, of course, if we happen to throw an interception, Aaron Donald is going to be out there making plays. <laughs> but I feel like this is a very good card to have. I feel like, you know, 91 run block out there. 91 run block is really, really, really good. Um, on top of him having 80 speed, he'll be able to get out in front. He'll be able to make plays happen, and I'm definitely excited to use him. So we're actually going to remove Armstead, and uh, we're going to sell him. We're going to sell Armstead. We're going to keep Aaron Donald because I feel like he has great speed, and he's going to be able to get out in front. Him and Lane Johnson pulling in certain situations, strong powers and stuff like that, I feel like it's going to be you know very good. But those were the presents that we got today. I'm not really sure. Dang, I was really hoping we could put Sprinter on him. That right there would have really, really, really made it like OP for me, in my opinion. I would have, oh, I would have fell in love if I could put Sprinter on him. But um, we still have, I believe, over 100 presents left. Yeah, we do. We have 113 presents left. Um, how do you, is it A through Z, how to do the dates? Okay, so December 21st. We got, we got a bunch of these, like a bunch. And then we got three big presents as well. We got three big presents. Some people are thinking it's going to be um, Eddie George because they hinted 2001. Um, and he was on the cover of Madden 2001. So we have a bunch of these, whatever this is. 
I'm not sure, 5, 10, 15. We got almost 20. Then we got three of those. Then on the 22nd, we got four big presents. Then on the 23rd, we got medium presents. The 24th, we got two big presents. The 25th, we got a bunch of presents. 26th, we got the last big present right there that we got. But uh, we, we spent a lot of resources on this nonsense. So hopefully, you know, it's worth it. Hopefully. So tomorrow, we got a ton of presents to open as well, including three of, uh, well, that might be medium, right? I don't think, is that big? I can't tell the difference. No, okay, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a large. That's an extra large. And that's okay. No, that that's a medium. Then that's not extra large. That's a medium. Whatever it is tomorrow, hopefully it's 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 something decent. But uh, it's your boy GS man. We're gonna go on ahead and be signing out, man. Appreciate the support as always. Bunch of presents to be opened again tomorrow. Um, you know, a power up pass. We went ahead and you know took Amos, and then we got. Um, we also got uh, Aaron Donald, who I feel like is a very good puller. You know, I wouldn't leave him just as my left guard just because, you know, he's probably doesn't, he doesn't have the best pass blocking. But when it comes to, um, oh, I probably need to put go deep on him. Or was I maxed? Oh, ooh, I don't know. I think I might have messed up my chems. I think I got to figure that out. I'm pretty sure. I might have to keep Armstead there just, for, just to max out go deep. But he goes for 80K, though. Like 80k, he goes for 80k on top of me being able to have, um, you know, Aaron Donald with more strength, better run blocking, and the same speed. Um, uh, my go deep has got to be short. Yeah, short three, because he had go deep the niner that I took out. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, I use Ty. I use Julio. I use Cooper. We gotta figure this out. I mean, we could put a running back here. What's the highest overall running back I got? I got anyone where I can put like a times two. Okay, we got Barkley. If, was that times three? That was times three, right? Times two, I need mean, one bolo. All right, so right here, I can just put any left tackle right here to go go deep. Sorry for the longer video. <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll just put my man Joe Staley. Maxed out. Oh, dang it. Now I got to get rid of somebody in order to put someone in. Sheesh. Well, I'll figure this out. I'm not going to keep you guys up all day while we figure this out. But anyways, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed Messy Boy GS. We're going to go on ahead with signing out. Appreciate the support. As always, until next time, peace.